Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my Crafty Dan. And today I am doing a plan with me from scratch in my bullet journal for week number 35 this year, which is August the 28th to September the 2nd. So I've gone ahead and cut down the three center pages doing this kind of sideways Dutch door bit here. I use the middle pages for my days of the week to plan on and then I have something to put here that goes underneath when these pages flip over and I have something that goes here underneath when these pages flip over and I have a place to decorate this all works out really well for me. So I've actually been thinking about changing it up for next month and doing something a little bit different. I just haven't quite figured that out yet, but let's do this plan with me. So to start off, I put three boxes here. When I flip these pages over, I don't want those boxes to come out any further than where those pages will cover. So I actually go to that dot, then I come in one row of dots and put a tiny little dot at the top of the page there so I know where my line is. And that's all it takes to keep me on track. And then I find myself a color. So this week, I'm planning on using this roll of washi tape from the washi tape shop. Now, this is a wide washi it's not washi stickers, so these girls have to be cut out. But we're getting to back to school time, and these girls are absolutely adorable. I think I'm going to use them. I've got this bit off of that roll of washi that has all these lovely girls on here. So I think that's what I'm going to put down this week. If I use anything different besides this, I will definitely let you know where I got it from. So because these are all different colors, I mean, this is all different colors. So I need to come up with a color. Um, there isn't one prominent color on here. So maybe I'll look for something that's a fall color. I've got the oranges. What about this kind of rusty orangey brown? What does it look like? There's enough of this in that washi tape to make this look good. And I don't use browns a lot in here. But I think it's okay to do so. So in here, I put three boxes. I do my errands. I do my bills to pay. And I do my box for next week. So just let me do those boxes. I think I'm just going to use my... This is a ruler from my Fuse Tools. And when I put it down on my page, because it's got these little bits of rubber backing, it stays pretty much where I plant it. It doesn't move a lot. So it makes a good ruler for this. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm not going to put the full three boxes this week. I'm going to do a long sidebar. Just to make it a little easier and show you that it can be changed up a bit. So this is very similar now to a sidebar on a happy planner. Just a straight, big, long box. And in this box, I am going to write errands. And I'm going to put bills due. And I'm going to put next, I don't have very many bills due, so I'm going to put next week here. Okay. 
there. I guess that needs a line. And then I'm going to take that same brown. And I'm going to go over my letters. And I'm going to give them a wash of color so that they look like a header. And it actually divides this. There. So I had I was I was doing last week's uh, I haven't got to here yet and I haven't even made my shopping list yet but I was doing last week's and I've been painstakingly putting all of these boxes in and I realized I don't really need separate boxes for every single category but I still like the idea of boxes I think it looks tidy when you corral all your writing into a box. So I think that's what I'm going to do here as well through the week. I'm just going to, just to make my life easier this week, I'm just going to make full boxes. Like this. And I'm going to put these on every page. I have no idea why I did that. I want, if I'm going to do that, I want a top line as well. There. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on every page. And then on the last page, and once again, flip your pages down so that you can make sure that your box doesn't come out beyond your pages. It just looks messy if you do. And on the back page here, another big box. And this one is for my shopping list. So now I'm going to break my days up into sections. So on my top section will be my tasks for the day. And then here I will put social media. And then at the bottom, I'm just going to put notes or note. In case I need extra room so that breaks my day down and it breaks it down to some pretty functional bits so I can sit with my coffee at the beginning of every morning and I can write down all the things that I want to accomplish that day I can also sit down and put down three items that I want to do to work on my social media and I don't need anything in the notes section. So I'm going to go ahead and do this throughout my whole week but Saturday and Sunday are going to be a little different. Saturday and Sunday I try not to work on the weekends. Oh my gosh I smudged there and made a dirty smudge. I'm going to have to put a sticker on there or something. So I've got the marker on my fingers. So I'm, I leave Saturday and Sunday bare because I just put down what I'm going to do on the weekends. My weekends aren't structured. So they're kind of an open box. So let's go ahead and get these done for the week. There, so I have my weekdays done. So every time, all my days that I want to try to accomplish anything, I have finished. I have my shopping list here. So I put down things as I run out and put them in my book so I don't forget them when I actually go to the grocery store. And then on my sidebar at the front, I'm just going to put some check dots 
and my bills due list and I've got next week and I don't need dots for that because sometimes that's just a one line note. So I have that done. So let's see how we can play with these girls. And I'm not going to bother to try to cut these out with my cutting tool because if I'm cutting something this big, it's just as easy to just go around her with my scissors. So I'm going to take them and I'm just going to cut a bunch of these. So out. I have a bunch cut out. Let's see what we can do with them. So I'm just going to put my little pile here to the side and I'm going to work my way through and flip back and forth and see where to put these. So I love this little girl. She says, no drama, please. And I think she'd look really cute. Ooh, maybe if I put her here, I can cover up that smudge. <laughs> Yeah, that's top priority right now. So let's see what happens. So she's cut out with all the little bits that were around her. And I'm just going to put her down like this. There, isn't she sweet? And now that doesn't look as bad. I have this girl who has the bag and the rain are the umbrella and the little hat on. I think she's as sweet as can be. So let's put her, because I have her there, let's move her kind of over here. There. And so I have her, and she's a duplicate of her. So I think I'm going to just put her down here where she's kind of out of the way. I absolutely love this girl with the sweats and the um, baggy shirt and she's reading a paper and has her backpack. So let's just set her right up in here. This girl with the bicycle is super sweet. And I think I want the bicycle to go. Actually, I like this one too. And this is like a whole vignette again. So it says, be happy, sweet 90s. It's got the girl sitting on the bench. Um, it's got the little cassette tape and the juice box. My fingers are slippery. I'm having a hard time grabbing this. <laughs> there. So I need one for the outside corner on the bottom of each. And I love this one. And once again, I cut all the pieces that with her. It says, be you, not them. Keep it happy. It's got this little blue dove. It's got the rain cloud. She's got the umbrella and she's stepping in the puddle. The little um, pictures, like the little sections of these are just adorable. I need something here because I've got an umbrella there. I'll do the other girl with the umbrella here. It says sing and dance. Here. So I'm going to put it down at the bottom of Sunday. I seldom write very much on Sunday. It's usually a just a hang around the house and not do much of anything day for me. So that's a good spot for that. I like her there. So I'm just going to be able to use up all the rest of these
I don't even know if I'm going to get them all used up. Let's maybe put, here, let's do a skinny one down here. So remember, if I need to write over top of that kitty's face, I can. It'll still show up. You can write on this washi really easily. I think I'm going to cut these last two down even more. So I left this on here, but I want this to be a skinny one so that I can put it on Saturday and still have lots of room to write. So I've got four there, four that way. I don't have anything on here, so let's put something on that day. And I'm going to call it done. So what a cute little spread. Um, <laughs> I didn't really do much to it. I've kept these boxes super simple. It's still as functional as the week before without all the extra. I've just pared down how much I'm doing to get it that way. So I do have these little bits. This one says, oh, happy day, which I think I can just stick down here at the bottom. And this one says, no drama, please. I, I've got it there. But if I put it, there. Like there's so much washi still on this roll of washi and I've been using it a lot. So, so these washi tape shop wide washies that you use all the bits off of go a long, long way. So they're well worth it. And they run you around uh, $10.99 for the wide rolls each if you're going to buy them like that, which is still a really good buy. Um, that's a lot of stickers if you cut them out and use them this way. So just all of these back to school babes, I'm going to call this back to school babes. All getting ready for that back to school season. So yeah, this is the last week of August going into September. A good time to use these, I think. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you're watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that now before you leave. I would love, love, love for you to come back and become part of my YouTube family. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Until then, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye for now.